the power of prayer there lived a pious fish in a lake many marine animals lived there happily once there was a severe drought and the lake was drying up many fish and other animals died while others lay dying the pious fish felt sorry for his fellow beings in the lake he would have to act soon or they would all be dead the fish reached the surface of the little water that was still in the lake and began praying he cried dear lord have mercy please send us rain and end our misery this drought has claimed many lives send us rain o lord such was the piteous cry of the fish that it reached god's ears his heart was filled with compassion and it rained heavily with the heavy rain the lake was full again there is tremendous power in sincere prayer and it can change the world around us lightning strikes a monkey named hanu lived in a forest on a banyan tree with his old mother and father hanu was a dutiful son hanu's mother was blind he was always waiting nearby to help her they were living a peaceful life until a hunter came that way he wanted to kill hanu's mother hanu jumped from the tree and pleaded with the hunter dear sir please do not kill my mother kill me instead the hunter was a cruel man he said foolish little monkey why did you come near me now i shall kill you both the hunter shot hanu and his mother on returning home he saw a huge pile of ashes where his little hut used to be a neighbor told him lightning struck and your hut got fire all your family members perished in it the cruel hunter had been punished by god for killing innocent creatures the hare on the moon there was a pious hare who lived in a forest he prayed every day once there was a festival which involved fasting and offering food to guests the hare had no delicacies to offer his guest so he decided to offer himself as food then he lit a bonfire god learned about the hare's pledge and wanted to test him he appeared in front of the hare disguised as a hermit and pretended to be hungry I am tired and hungry son have you anything for me to eat he asked the saintly hare said indeed sir please accept me then he jumped into the fire god was so happy that he brought the hare back to life god said to the hare from this day on you will also have a place in the sky that is why even to this day we can see the hair on the moon the monk's council there was once a sage who found a baby elephant in a forest he took her home and cared 
for her like his own daughter. He named her Lakshmi. The sage had to leave for the village one day. He bought basketfuls of bananas before he left. When Lakshmi was angry, she ate one basket of bananas, then another and another. Soon all the baskets were empty. When the sage returned, he saw Lakshmi lying on the ground. Her belly was swollen. The sage wandered in the forest looking for help. There he saw a monk. The monk advised, It is your attachment to the elephant that is causing you grief. Here, take this powder and rub it on her head. The sage went back home and did as the monk said. Lakshmi was fine again. But the sage had realized the truth of his life and he overcame his attachment. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.